Hi, I'm Joanne Moore of Expanding Joy, and this is the place to be to consciously choose and create your happiest life. And I believe that the road to our happiest life is full of signposts. There are messages everywhere on how to get from A to B. And one of the ways is questions. I believe strongly and from experience that every time a question arises, the answer is available. Every time there's a problem, a challenge, the solution is available in the same moment. Day to day, we get distracted and most of the time we're busy thinking about the problem instead of feeling for the answer. So I um, have a perfect example. I have been wanting to do videos for quite a while and I keep getting distracted. I keep thinking that... Um, <clears throat> my house needs to be clean first, that my kids have been sick and so I can't do it, I'm paying attention to them. There's all kinds of distractions. And today when I, uh, my daughter woke up with the flu and I was in the shower after helping her this morning and thought, okay, I'm just gonna put these videos off for another day, what's one more day? And suddenly it dawned on me that what is stopping me? What is going through my head? What is it that's having me have the excuses be okay? Videos are something that I really want to do, that I know um, that I will enjoy. And it's something that when I think about it, I get excited. I have a, an expansive feeling. Um, so what's stopping me? Why is it that, I, that I'm not doing this? So what occurred to me was that the question for today is, what is stopping me? What is the thought that first comes up when um, I think I want to do something. So for you, the question today is what's stopping you? First, what is it that you really want to do? What is one even small thing that you've been thinking of lately that, you know, I would really like to go do that. I'd really like to go sit at the beach and eat an ice cream cone. I would love to have a movie marathon with my kids or my husband. Any of those things. For me, it was making movies. So. The question is, what do you want to do? Now, the tip for having, ha having the answer is the next step. So for me, the answer is always in internal. The answer is never going to be outside. It's never going to be in what somebody else tells you to do. It's going to be the internal dialogue with yourself or with your heart. Your head is going to have all kinds of excuses. That's the, my ducks aren't all in a row. But what is it that comes up? So you need to take a moment to just really get centered in your body, put your feet on the floor, and ask yourself, now, I really want to do this thing. I really want to spend more time with my family. I really want to take a day off and play hooky. I really want to push that extra mile to get that bonus at work. And then notice what happens in your body. What thought first springs to mind? What is the ah but that occurs to you? And when you have that ah but, I can't, just almost put it in your hands. Well, thank you. Okay, I hear you. It's going to keep playing again and again until you hear it, until it gets recognized. For me, it was the um, fear of not being good at what I'm doing. It's the fear of, you know, if you put it out there in video, it's never, you can never take it back. So if it's not good, then people are going to know that you're not very good at this. And I just had to go, you know what, thank you. I appreciate you trying to save me from embarrassment or from perceived failure. That part of you is really there as a safety net. It's trying to help you. So when we acknowledge that we heard it, we acknowledge that it was trying to help us, not hurt us. For today, just thank that message. Let it know that, you know what? I appreciate you so much for keeping me safe in the past. I know that at some point, um, embarrassment was a worry for me. And today, you know what? I have some more tools. I have a little fewer more skills than when I first felt that. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. So thank it, acknowledge it, and then move on. Do it. 
take that time. Um, if you want to spend more time with your family and the, and the worry that comes up is, oh, well, then who's going to be doing this at work or who's going to get the house clean or whatever it is, thank that thought. Then move on. So the thought today is, the question today is, what's stopping you? What do you really want to do? And then what are you going to do to move on? What action steps? Once you acknowledge what um, is stopping you, then the next thing to do is take an action step because that will cement in you that, you know what, that you can get past that, that, that worry, that fear, that anxiety that's been stopping you in the past. And once you practice that a few times, that worry will get quieter and quieter because it will notice that you really don't need it anymore, that it's not necessary to keep you safe. You can be safe without it. So for today, my biggest takeaway, of course, is that I actually got on the video and that's my action step. My other action step is that I'll be doing a video challenge for myself. Over the next 30 days, I'm going to be doing 15 of these short videos with tips Tick, uh, tips and tricks for how to answer and connect to your own questions and I'll be asking questions. I would love to hear from people in the comment section below what your um, big goal is that you really want to accomplish and what is it that came up for you around a fear or something that's blocking you. In the future we'll be doing other exercises around really stuck dug in beliefs and that have been stopping you. But today, just acknowledge it, thank it, and then take an action step towards what you really want to do. So thank you very much, and I hope to see you on the road to your happiest life. Have a great day.